Hello, I'm Associate Professor Dr. W.K. Chan from the Gastroenterology and Hepatology Unit, University of Malaya, Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. On behalf of my colleague, Professor Dr. Sanjeev Mahadewa and Dr. Nick Raihan Nick Mustafa, I'd like to present to you an abstract of our work entitled A Randomized Trial of Silymarine for the Treatment of Non-Alcoholic Stereohepatitis, which has been accepted for publication in Clinical Gastroenterology and Hepatology. Non-alcoholic steatohepatitis or NASH is the more severe form of non-alcoholic fatty liver disease or NAFLD, which can progress to cirrhosis and is associated with increased risk of mortality from liver-related complications. There are currently limited treatment options for NASH. Silymarine, which is derived from the milk tissue plant Silibum marinum, has been used for centuries as a herbal remedy for liver diseases. There have been numerous animal and in vitro studies showing the antioxidant, anti-inflammatory, and antifibrotic properties of silymarine. There have also been several human clinical trials suggesting that silymarine may be useful for the treatment of NAFLD. However, most of these trials are either single-arm open-label or did not have histological endpoint. We embark on this study with the aim to provide more robust evidence on the use of silymarine for the treatment of NASH. The planning for this work started in 2010 and the study officially started in 2012. Consecutive adult NAFLD patients who were seen in the gastroenterology and hepatology clinic of the University of Malaya Medical Center were considered for inclusion into this study. NAFLD patients with a serum alanine aminotransferase ALT and or serum aspartate aminotransferase AST level of 40 and above were offered screening for this study which included a liver biopsy. Patients with biopsy proven NASH and a NAFLD activity score or NAS of 4 and above were included in this study. Patients with cirrhosis were excluded. Patients who were eligible for this study were randomized within one month of their liver biopsy to receive either silymarine 700mg 3 times daily or placebo 3 times daily for 48 weeks. Both groups received lifestyle advice. Fibroscan was performed at baseline week 24 and week 48 and a repeat liver biopsy was performed at week 48. The primary efficacy outcome was at least 30% improvement in the NAS in the repeat liver biopsy compared with baseline. Of the 148 subjects who underwent screening, 99 subjects were eligible for the study and were randomized. There was a total of 50 subjects in the placebo group and 49 subjects in the silymarine group. A total of 89 patients underwent the repeat liver biopsy. There was no significant difference in the proportion of patients who achieved the primary efficacy outcome in the silymarine group compared with the placebo group. The proportion of patients who had improvement in steatosis, lobular inflammation, hepatocyte ballooning and NAS were also similar between the silymarine and the placebo group. However, a significantly larger proportion of patients had fibrosis improvement in the silymarine group compared with the placebo group. In addition, there was a symmetric direction of improvement, whereby numerically larger proportion of patients had fibrosis resolution and smaller proportion of patients had progression to cirrhosis in the silymarine group compared with the placebo group. There was also a significantly larger proportion of patients in the silymarine group who had at least 30% improvement in liver stiffness measurement compared with the placebo group. Overall, there was no significant difference in the adverse event, serious adverse event, and discontinuation in the silymarine group compared with the placebo group. None of the adverse event or serious adverse event were deemed related to the study drug. This is the first study on silymarine for the treatment of NASH that utilized PET liver biopsies and provide histological confirmation of previous observations that silymarine may be useful for the treatment of NAFLD. Furthermore, the randomized double-blind placebo-controlled design eliminates potential confounding by lifestyle modification and potential biases that may be seen in open-label uncontrolled study. In conclusion, treatment with silymarine for 48 weeks did not achieve the primary efficacy outcome of at least 30% improvement in NAS in this study but was found to be associated with significantly greater fibrosis improvement, the treatment appeared to be safe and well-tolerated. The findings from this study suggest that 
Silymarine may be useful for fibrosis improvement in biopsy-proven NASH patients and should prompt further study in larger population in a multi-center setting, especially to better define the optimum dosage and duration of treatment. I would like to take this opportunity to thank all the staff of University of Malaya and University of Malaya Medical Center who are directly and indirectly involved in this study, as well as patients and their family members, without which this study would not have been possible. Thank you very much.